Remedies to Civil Actions In private law, compensation is usually provided in the form of damages. There are various types of damages including general, special, punitive, aggravated, and nominal. General damages cannot be easily or precisely calculated and can be divided into pecuniary and non-pecuniary damages. Pecuniary damages include the loss of income, future earnings, and the cost of specialized future care. Non-pecuniary damages is money awarded for pain and suffering, the loss of enjoyment of life. This is much harder to calculate. The term pecuniary means related to money. Special damages are awarded for specific out-of-pocket expenses incurred before the trial. These include hospital costs and therapy. Punitive damages are meant to punish the defendant for what is considered to be malicious behavior. If the defendant has already been convicted in criminal court for the offense, punitive damages are not usually awarded. Aggravated damages are awarded for mental distress and humiliation or pain and suffering. In Canada, there are limits to how much money a person can receive for pain and suffering. Multi-million dollar lawsuits are more common in the United States. Nominal damages are awarded as a moral victory for the plaintiff. In these cases, the plaintiff has suffered little or no harm, but the judge agrees with his or her reasons for bringing the lawsuit forward. An injunction is a court order that directs a person to avoid doing something for a specific period of time and can be issued as a type of civil remedy. If a person served with an injunction fails to obey it, he or she may be found in contempt of court and receive a fine or a jail sentence. Examples include staying away from a certain person or limiting certain types of behavior. A contingency fee is an arrangement between a lawyer and a client regarding payment. Lawyers agree to be paid a certain agreed upon percentage at the end of the trial or settlement, but do not receive any money otherwise. Contingency fees are common in class action lawsuits or if a person cannot afford a lawyer. The risk for lawyers is that if they do not gain the verdict, they do not receive money for their services. But if they do win, they usually make more money than their standard fees. When a plaintiff wins a case, it is the plaintiff's responsibility to collect damages awarded from the defendant, who must cooperate. In order for a plaintiff to successfully claim his or her damages, a defendant's ability to pay is analyzed. This is known as examination of the debtor. A defendant must have money, assets that can be sold for money, money owed to them that can be redirected to the plaintiff. A defendant may also have his or her wages garnished. A percentage of the defendant's income is directed at paying the damages, similar to repaying a loan. If a defendant's wages are garnished, the court must leave him or her with enough money to live on and provide for any dependents that he or she may have. Alternative dispute resolution is designed to solve civil disputes without having a formal trial. The advantages include it is less expensive and faster than going to court, it usually creates less stress on the parties involved, it may result in a better or fairer resolution, it often results in an acceptable compromise that benefits both parties while avoiding the animosity of going to court. There are three basic alternate dispute resolution models, negotiation, mediation, and arbitration. Negotiation is when the parties involved try to resolve their disputes directly with or without lawyers. Mediation is when a neutral third party is brought in to help the parties resolve their dispute. A mediator has no actual decision-making power. Arbitration is when a neutral third party is brought in to decide the case. An arbitrator's decision is binding and final.